This kind of takes the piss, really. We're on our way to Mijigiria, where uh, President Yanukovych has his uh, personal residence, a huge estate. Two days ago, the protesters took it over and have been opening it up to the public. It's obviously quite a huge draw. You've got thousands of cars queuing the road, people basically parking their car here and walking. So this is the entrance to Yanukovych's private estate called Mijiguria. It's pretty packed. I'm not sure if they're letting people in, but we're going to try and get inside and take a look for ourselves. <laughs> so managed to make our way in. It's a huge estate. I mean, they say it's half the size of Monaco. Cost millions of, uh, of euros to make, and a lot of protesters are very unhappy that Yanukovych had such a place to live, given that living standards in this country are so low. An average monthly salary is around 300 euros. It's a gold leaf gate. I mean, there's nothing about this place that's been done on the cheap. So, uh, this must be Yanukovych's private golf course. Uh, not sure how many holes it is, uh, but it's pretty massive. You got This is obviously where he tees off from. There's a whole forest surrounding it. This place is absolutely huge. Really never seen anything quite like it. Puts Buckingham Palace to shame. People brought their dogs, children. It's a real uh, sort of Sunday day out vibe. Fun for all the family. He purchased this uh, estate when he was uh, prime minister. He collected this money during like five years. So b before there was nothing here. Right. It's so massive. I mean, it even looks kind of like a weird dictatorship theme park. Okay, so we've just made it inside ex-president Yanukovych's uh, private residence in Mijigiria. Could you tell us where we are right now? This is his private residence. Okay. So nobody was allowed um, to go in. This was a top secret place. Okay. And uh, there was a very huge guard. How did you guys come to control Mijigiria? So when um, there were main battles on Maidan, yeah. Yanukov was just flee from Mijigiria. Okay. And this, the guard just flew away. Really? Okay. Yeah, so Mejigiria was open. So they were just, just got in. You could just walk straight in. Yeah, exactly. The place is so big, it's got its own lift system. How many floors is it, Alex? Um, five floors. Five floors. Wow. <laughs> it's like a dictator's episode of uh, Chris. So this is, looks like a, a music room. Yeah, there are yeah. many rooms like these. There are some collection of bullets. All oh, right, yeah, Mauser bullets, Magnum bullets, Winchesters. He was actually a big shooting fan. There are lots of places in Mezhigiria. There, there are like wooden houses right. where, where people running around trying to get as much animals as possible running towards him and he was just standing <laughs> and shooting there. Wow, okay. So this is the uh, main office of Yanukovych. Okay. Wow. Pretty grand. Book on swords. Seems to be a fan of weapons of yeah, any he kind. Yeah, a fan of weapons. Yeah. This is a special connection of Yanukovych with all the ministers. So he could call the parliament yeah, just directly from here. Yeah, button. No, nope, switched off. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I can't read who these names are, but... Attack my dumb, attack my dumb, <laughs> bastards, we're losing, big time! <laughs> well, all this you have seen is not rich. Yeah. You'll see a rich room right now. All oh, right, okay, so it gets, it gets even more grand. So this is the main room. Wow. In <laughs> this building. This kind of takes the piss, really. So what's going to happen to Mezhigiria? People's self-defense at some point will give Mezhigiria to the state okay. because it belongs to people. 
and we hope this will be the first in the world museum in a uh, museum of corruption. <laughs> so this is the billiard. Take this out. This is the ivory. Ivory? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's extremely complicated. So when you guys are working for 200 euros a month and your president lives, lives in a place like this, how does that make you feel? You saw it. Yeah. You were my done. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a sit in Yanukovych's chair, I think. Feel yourself a dictator. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in a tyrant's chair. A, a kleptocrat's chair. It's not even that comfortable. All this money and you couldn't get a comfortable chair. Seems a bit pointless, really. 